Let's look at the titration curve now, um, adding NaOH. Um, if we add uh, Na into the system, NaOH, um, we can solve using the electroneutrality electro condition. We have sodium plus concentration plus hydrogen plus concentration, which is now taken over to the right with a minus sign equals all the charge of the negative species. So concentration of the negative species plus two times the concentration of the two nine species. Why two? Um, because uh, the concentration of that species is actually minus two. So we have to multiply it by two so that it equals anything on positive on the left hand side. And we have one times OH minus. So that is the sodium uh, concentration. Uh, which is actually the amount of added NaOH because if you're adding NaOH into the system it has to equal this because well you're putting NaOH into it in the titration like the burette you're putting it into the carbonic acid and you can put you can work out what all of these are um, these are all expressions that we got from the previous slide let me just remind you here uh, what we've done is we've converted the H plus activities into concentrations, but that's the only difference here. We've converted the H plus activities into concentrations by using these factors here. Uh, uh, sorry, the concentrations have been converted into uh, have been we use activities, and then we can plot this out as a function of pH, negative log H and we get this graph. So the titration curve that we get from this thing here has no equivalence point, provided we do it slowly, of course. If we do it very fast, it's going to equalize. But if we do it very slowly, uh, it continually decreases. So no titration in that case. 